every time I, <laughs> I hear it in my head, it, it's just all wrong now. I'm like, oh my God, that was a clue and we just didn't know it. You know, my you, mind's telling, telling me, me no. Yeah. You should have listened to your uh, mind. Yeah. <laughs> What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Yo, yo, this is Growing Up Shot. Yep. We're here where we're at Edison Park in Chicago. we kicking it off right, right here. It's Growing Up Shot. I'm your host, Ronnie Ray, and that's your host. Christian Leslie. Christian Leslie's here. Me and this cat been knowing each other for a hot minute. Man. Yes. Yes, indeed. Almost 20, dog. Yes. Yeah. Battling in. Uh, unless, you're, unless you're a casting director, then we've only known each other for that's two right. years. That's right. I'm 27. That's right. I'm 19. I'm 27. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20. Big Mike, what up? Yeah, um. <laughs> Yo, 27. But hey, dig this. Uh, we're here talking about things from in Chicago. That's right. Past, present, future, celebrities, special events, sports teams. Ah, and today, we got to go in on this one. We got to go in. Because he's from Chicago. Hmm. He's declared the king I, of R.B. before they took his title. I wish you weren't from Chicago. You know where he should be? He should be from Green Bay. But don't. never mind. Anyway. Come on, man. You were rocking that dude, man. Everybody like Mr. Robert Kelly, man. Uh, back in the day. Uh, back in the day, you like Robert Kelly. This show's about R. Kelly, y'all. Yeah. Y'all ain't know what we're talking yeah. about. R. Kelly been going through some things. We ain't about to talk about that, man. Yes. Let's, we're going to get to that later. What's, what you want to talk about? What's happening now? You want to talk about? We want to lead up to the end. No, let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Thing on Lifetime TV. It's called Surviving R. Kelly. Yeah. Did you see the show yet? I, I still haven't seen it. I've, I've read about it. I've, I've looked at everything. Uh, I've seen some clips, um, it but it's, it, it, the, the clips I saw were too. It was too. I had to stop. Was, I had to stop. It, it, it was, was epic. It was so. And then when you think about the uh, the music, some of his music, you know, the the I don't see nothing wrong. I, like I, I just every time I, <laughs> I hear it in my head, it, it's just all wrong now. I'm like, oh my god, that was a clue, and we just didn't know it. You know, my mind's mind telling, telling me no. no. Yeah. You should have listened to your uh, mind. Yeah. <laughs> you the creepiest one that was the, the creepiest one is the huh. Leah, the oh, Leah of yeah. album cover. Yeah, for years I'm like, why is this dude in the back? Because you I, do your album cover, do you want somebody in the back of your I, album cover? I don't, and I don't even sing. I love, I love my mom. mom. <laughs> no, I love my mother, man. Right. She like, I want to be a no. No. Get your ass out of my album cup. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is my album cup. Get your own album. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you could never sing. <laughs> you ain't told Joke One out here. Right. right. <laughs> you can't be on the album cup. Right. Let me shut up. I got my cousins on and my brother on. <laughs> my but no, you ain't on that album cup. Right. No, I, I, I just, it, it was, it, it's something that a lot of people have said for a long time. Something that we actually know somebody uh, who, who told me. Uh, when she was, uh, you know, teenager, he he hit on her. Wow, you know, so I mean, that, that's wrong. You gotta that's see wrong. it, man, because this guy, the, the teacher that told him the music, uh huh, they had to tell him like, um, Robert, stop hanging around the school. You graduated. She ain't sound like Bill Cosby like you did earlier, but she's like, stop hanging around the school because you know, leave the girls alone. He didn't say no. Nah, you know, I'm just up here trying to see you. You ain't wait, coming to see wait, me. Wait, wait, you wait. meeting girls. Wait a minute. If you have to stop, now I hold, this is where I do get even more upset at the adults in the situations who, who didn't do things. Now, if, if I'm teaching out of school and someone's already graduated from a school and I have to go up to that person and tell them to stop coming to the school, why would not contact the police or somebody? I mean, if you know that there's an older person hitting on Younger girls, that's mm -hmm. that's wrong, and you know it's wrong. Well, let's 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 talk about who we talking about then. He ain't no janitor. We ain't no dude that work at UPS and just hangs out at the school. This guy is multi platinum. That's true. He is writing hits for Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Mariah, whoever. He right. was the guy. Right. And that's how they. That's why he's still relevant right now. And I see. Uh, my friend Clarence said he he actually knew. He knew girls at both Hillcrest, where I went to school, and uh, Thornwood. This dude got a that, track that, record. That, that back in the days. So Kale's got a track record. On. Oh, LaDisha Perk, what's up, girl? I had a crush on her <laughs> back in uh, English class, and she just oh. heard it today okay. on TV. But All now right. she married, and I might be dating for somebody, so it don't make a difference. Anyway, okay. all right, Kelly is the um yes is the topic, man. Um, You got to see the show, man, because it's, it's special. Okay. It, it's weird on how he got these women. I'm like, not women, girls. Girls. Girls, they call it um, what is it? Uh, grooming. Yes, grooming. He 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 basically he cultivated an atmosphere where they felt as though they needed his approval, 
And so he basically programmed them in a way. Oh yeah, they had one. You know. They were they still looking for that girl. They um some he was like, yo, he pulled on the stage like she can, she can sing. I need the groomer. I need to have her come to Chicago and hang with me for a while. Like, well, we're gonna need to sit down with you and this and that. Then all of a sudden, the phone calls got less and less, and all of a sudden they ain't seeing no more. They look on TMZ months later, she in Hollywood somewhere with one of R. Kelly's other chicks. And then that's our daughter. We going to get her. You know what I mean? They go out there, they had to pull out there. He got a he got a dressing like a dude. It was crazy, man. It was weird, yo. That's crazy. But I, I couldn't stop watching it, though. I can't imagine letting my child go with a grown man mm-hmm. someplace. I, I mean, I, without me there, without, you know. I mean, we both worked on set. Right. And I think you, you worked with uh, with kids before. You worked at, at Nick for a while. Yes. Right, yeah. And, I mean, I, I'll be honest. You can say whatever you want about set parents, but the ones that I met, they were right there with their kid, you know, and if they, if they needed to be uh, over to the side or something like that. But they didn't, like, you weren't going anywhere with their, not that anybody was Trump, but they were right there. So right. I, I can't imagine, you know, that's that's the thing about entertainment. So many people don't actually know what it is so that somebody like that who's a, a predator, uh, allegedly, allegedly, um, mm-hmm. but I, I I believe the women, but you got to, we don't know where this is going to go and got to yeah, put, but, put the legal yeah. words in there. Uh, but somebody like that can go in and just tell them anything. You know, it's, well, this is how it works because they don't have a frame of reference. If you're out there and you want your children involved in any kind of entertainment endeavor, let me tell you, there is no need for your underage child to go away from where you can see them. That you, and, there's just no, no, no need. He got a track record, dog. He got a track record already. You That's married true. a Leah, bro. That's true. He married a That's Leah. So they come on TV dressed alike. You know right, what I mean? Right, 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 and like, what are y'all? Y'all a couple? We just friends. Get out of here, man. Come nah, on. No. Nah. Now, you know who else the, the, that they haven't talked about him in a while? He's passed on. I believe he died. I don't, I, uh, what's his name? Celine Dion's uh, husband, uh, Renee. Because they, I mean, they had. There you go, team. They had a relationship. You know, he was her manager, right, for years when she was a teen. Mm-hmm. And then along the way, somewhere in there, it's not really discussed when, uh, because he was much older than her. Uh, somewhere in there, they got married. Celine mm-hmm. Dion. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. On oh, the Titanic, on the lake. Yeah, yeah, that guy looked old yeah. to me. He is old. <laughs> no, I'm talking about when they got married no, later yeah, yeah, on yeah. in years. This yeah. dude looked like he was a straight senior citizen. Yeah. Yeah. And and they had been together. I mean, he had been her manager since she was a teenager, and they always spent a lot of time together and so forth. So there were rumblings about that, you know, back then. Right. But they, you know, she was very powerful, and she said, you know, she was fine with it, and that the culture in Canada was different. Right. Uh, so she kind of. <laughs> it's okay to, I, it's okay to I, date your great uncle. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was what she said. Here. That's what she said. Well, you can't drink at eighteen in Canada, but still, you right. can't be dating. That's not your cool ass uncle's friend. No, no, you can't date your cool ass uncle's friend. No, no, you can't. No, <laughs> we talk about this growing up shot. We talk yes. about R. Kelly yes. today. Um, let's just get to the good spot. Let's get to okay. the good stuff. Okay, let's just disregard him and all the, the young girls and peeing on. Mm. <laughs> What's your favorite R. Kelly song, man? We go that route just just to make it okay. balanced for the R. Kelly fans. Like okay. they ain't hundred percent against dude, but we did like him though. Right, and I and I, I will say my favorite R. Kelly song was uh, I believe I can fly. Mm-hmm. Um, but if, if you're out there, just to follow up on what Ron was saying, if you're out there and you're an R. Kelly fan and you keep defending him on social media and getting in fights with people, um, stop that. Um, <laughs> the people you're fighting with are probably sexual assault victims <laughs> or they know a sexual oh, assault victim yeah. and, and, and you're not going to convince them. It's, it's just stop. Stop fighting. I, I am stop I am that. I am waiting for one person to I can see that's watching this. Uh-huh. She's gonna hate my ass. She I, loves this dude. Well that's fine. She I, doesn't give a damn she, we were dating. She said, I will jump over your head, nigga, to get to him. I was like, holy. Whoa, what? What kind of <laughs> why Damn. Do I, why do I need that information? <laughs> I don't need that, no. <laughs> why do you I just need- straight fucked my confidence up. Like, you do what? You <laughs> 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 jump over. What in the world? <laughs> what kind of? I'm like, like, I think you need the media, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and you can take the bus home, goddammit. <laughs> 
That's like the scene from uh, Five Heartbeats when a girl holds uh, JT's jacket, you know. Right. He's saying the, the dude just gets up <laughs> and leaves in the- I my coat. Right. Like you hold like, me. hold me. <laughs> hold me tighter, girl. Don't I feel good? What's up, Shay? <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy gets up and leaves her. Hell <laughs> yeah, what do you mean by that? Get your ass out of here. You want to go with the sick? Go with the sick dick. Now, if I can catch you the bus, too, because I ain't going to let your ass backstage. I was the guy you gave my coat. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> That was the guy. They, they wouldn't say letter F. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I believe okay. I can fly. That was I believe. I, all right. Well, damn. You know, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta go with that. That's the, that's that's the that's the keeper right there. You should got Oscar for that one because that was Space Jam right there. Yes, yes. But man, that damn that damn um. With the lights in the cloud. No, that damn um, um, got them city for the. Ghetto remix, dog man. You're uh, talking about riding Chicago Lakeshore Drive, man. Just just ride and listen to it, man. It changed your life. Ah, uh, you try to like, damn. I, I wish I, you didn't pee on the women, man. Cause I, you'll be I one of the greatest. I can't. I, like, okay, so here's the thing that for me is different these days because I knew, uh, you know, a lot of our great entertainers from you know back in the '40s and '50s. They they had. Problems. Yes, you know you, there's stories about Bing Crosby and how he treated his family. Bing Crosby too, huh? Bing Crosby, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, I didn't know the that white Christmas guy. I didn't know that he was apparent. Allegedly, he was uh, abusive, verbally abusive. Uh, he drank too much around his family. He would get mad. Oh and have man, fits. they're killing our heroes. Yeah, uh, but what I'm what I will say is this: back in the '80s, when I found that out, it didn't ruin white Christmas. White Christmas for me. I could compartmentalize. I think these days celebrity has become so much bigger and they try and put celebrity into everything so that when a person falters, when they fall, when they're found to be, you know, bad in their personal life, right. it bleeds into what you would think, you know, of them in their uh, their, their professional life, in the right. entertainment realm, which is sad because I, I can't really listen to his music uh, the same way anymore, mm. uh, you know. Which I, I was thinking, I was like, why is it so different? Because I knew about these other guys back in the day, and I, while I didn't want to invite them Presley, to my house, man. right? Jerry Lee Lewis, he married right. his cousin. She was thirteen. Thirteen, you know, and 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 that didn't ruin the music for anybody, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, you know what? I I'm not gonna trip. Like y'all seen that? I'm like, oh, he got a problem. He will take care of it. Whatever. Oh, he's found innocent. Okay. But then it kept happening. It kept happening. Right. Then this came on. It was like, yo, yeah. what are you doing? Like, yeah. you are, are you serious? Yeah. I mean, and then. Every girl is then, like 17 years old. And then, uh, alleged, his his management team or lawyer or whatever Man, went after uh, one some of the women uh, and told them basically, shut up. You know, yeah. stop, sp stop speaking or these things. Gloria Allred, you know, took up a couple of those cases and she's helping them. Um, but I mean, I think that's in poor taste as well. I understand you got to protect your guy, but uh, you got to find a different way to do it. You yeah. Know? If somebody's saying this person, <laughs> it's like, I ain't going to steal no more. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he leave the courthouse and go rob a 7-Eleven. Like, what the hell are you doing? That's not, you know, much less you, you tell the person that's complaining about you stealing from them that they got to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, yep. uh, Facebook Tina said uh, yeah, Chuck Berry Chuck Berry was on there Chuck Berry Chuck Berry was He, oh. he, he was wrong He did something R. Kelly wouldn't do He what? had white women Oh well, He had white women I, They got a tape On Chuck Berry With white women Like I, I seen the tape I don't, don't tell me How I came across it I Somebody know. put it up On uh, Twitter one day Like a few years ago I was like What the hell and they had Chuck Berry Skinny ass they were they they videotape look at like VHS tape whatever, but they were in he had some white girls like wow yo, but he been in jail for that you know what I mean years ago wow I I, I tell you I did not know that about Chuck yeah, good point thank you wow, wow. yep yeah. yeah but that's nice. the difference though R Kelly you think he you think he'd be in jail if he was a white woman if he had white girls like that I think he would be in jail if not calling the race call no 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 I think he would be in jail if he picked. And this is what, what I think happens sometimes with, with race, is that uh, they don't just, somebody doesn't just sleep with uh, a white woman. They slept with somebody whose parents, and who they may be in a, a little bit of a different socioeconomic 
uh, place right. than these other people that they can just kind of intimidate or say anything to. And the Jedi, if you're an educated person, an educated parent, that you know, like those stage moms and dads that, that we've seen, they're educated, they're knowledgeable, and you're not gonna Jedi mind trick them yeah. and get them to go away. They're gonna go to the DA and mm-hmm. they're gonna stand there, and if the DA doesn't move, they're gonna call ABC, NBC, you know, they know what to do. That's interesting how we were talking do. about our favorite song, we went right back to the <laughs> filth. <laughs> get back to the filth, fuck the favorite song. Get back to the filth. No, but I, I think that's, uh, I didn't know that about Chuck Berry, so thank you, friend Tina, because I learned something, I liked to yeah, learn. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that about him, but. but <laughs> My cousin James said, very young white girls, so. Oh, yeah. dear Lord. Um, but, and again, I, I think that's, that's the difference. When you look at, um, like you mentioned Jerry Lee Lewis, like his, his cousin family, he, they didn't have a lot of money before he started making money. So it's easy, when, when people don't have money, it's easy for a person with money come to on. come in Still. and say, well, you know, I'll take care of this or I'll take care of you. You know, and-, and You seen and, the movie? What? You didn't see Great Balls of Fire? I did, I, I didn't think it was a documentary. That was his <laughs> life though, bro. But they didn't have- He I mean, came in the house, dude, you had women screaming over, you picked your cousin? I'm not justifying that. I'm saying that's wrong, right? 100% wrong. But I think he got away with that the way he did with them because they weren't, they didn't have money, they weren't very educated, you know. You can't, you, you, I mean, history proves you can't. If somebody has Don't education, they cousin, have money. Man. I'm not sad, saying though. that was that was wrong. All right, Kelly didn't pick his cousin. That was, all of it is wrong. <laughs> that's I'm, messed up. That, it's yeah. all wrong. I'm just saying you have... I think they target people who who don't have as much money, don't have as much education. Because you can, again, you can Jedi mind trick those people. R. Kelly is so slick. In the document, in the document, he's surviving R. Kelly. He, he, this girl was out there supporting him. Every time we coming out of the court, he talking to this girl. By the end of the case, that girl was one of the girls in the house. He pulled a supporter in. That's How do you you about to go to jail, bro? But he's still thinking of the mentality like I'm gonna get somebody out here while I'm out here. On that, to me, that just proves that that's that pathology. They they that's what they do. You yeah. know, just like somebody who's a, a thief or a, a serial killer or right. whatever. That's 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 what they do. If somebody's a serial killer. You're trying to convict them. They're still thinking about people to kill. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so I, I got out of that one. Who's next? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's going down. You better not let me out this moment. Right. Soon as I get out this bitch, <laughs> the first girl I see when I come out of court, <laughs> you come in the house. <laughs> you can't use yeah. your phone either. He had trapped. And the funny thing is, it wasn't all. It wasn't all teenage girls. This one yeah. girl's like she was like thirty two. You can leave. And well, not saying you know it, I, abusive la- relationship is hard to leave, but right. you can leave if you were tortured like that. Get the hell out of there! But they picked the right. That's the thing. They they know who to pick. They know they they don't walk up and talk to somebody who is is, is going to tell them no. They know who they're. They're some of the best communicators in the world because they 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 watch physical cues. They listen to verbal cues. And if somebody seems independent, if somebody seems like they they have a mind of their own. They're not going to talk to them. Wow. They won't even try. And they have uh, what what in sales you call uh, trial closes. Okay, they have little things that they'll they'll try and get the person to do or go for. It. And if they don't go for it, mm-hmm. then they they wash their hands of them. Yeah, but no. It's every he, little it, that every thing. little step. Every woman he yeah. stepped to those zone. As soon as they yeah. said the wrong thing, he's like a salesman. Bye. He, he's zoomed right in and get your ass. Right. But uh, cousin James just said, "Um, uh, what were the dads?" That's what I'm tripping on. I mean, and again, again, you you, you look at True. you look at the psychology of you know different socioeconomic state. A lot of divorces in this country now, and you can you can almost tell when when you have that kind of mentality. It's kind of a, a predator mentality, right? They can tell if you're their kind of person. And that's probably part of his profile is somebody who is estranged from their father. They're looking for somebody to quote unquote soul. give them direction, yeah. so forth. You know, I can show you the way. I can show yeah. He usually That's the thing about the whole the whole Bill Cosby thing. Like I watched right, this. Right, 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 right. Yeah. We're not gonna get off R. Kelly because Bill Cosby's from Philadelphia. We're talking about growing up shot. <laughs> that's right. 
<laughs> That's a shameless plug. Um, but no, like, like, come on, man. Like for real though, I think Damon Damon Wayans got in trouble for saying this shit. He was like, man, for what? You talking about Bill Cosby? He like, well, if he did that, where were the dads and the uncles and the crazy cousins? Like, right, 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 like right. I don't give a damn who you are. Right. You gonna pay for that shit? Are you fucking serious? Right. Well, I I, I think that again, I think that with. They, you look at the Wayans family, right? They're they're like the Black Baldwins for me. I mean, you know, there's a million of them. You mess with one of them, right? There's a million of them, and and that's a different family unit. And and a lot of times we expect in others what we've seen in our own lives and our own family. And I get where he's coming from, right? But the reality of the situation is, unfortunately, many families in today's America are not like that. Many families in today's America, they they might have a crazy uncle, but he's crazy for real. Like, he thinks he's on Pluto. Yeah. And you can't really talk to him. He's not going to exact. Because <laughs> you don't call. Well, well you got to, like, you, not gonna you exact... break that glass case when it's time. Right, but that's not a, look, I had a crazy cousin, okay? But, and, and, and all my relatives, great. He's, he's passed away, unfortunately, but... Greg was a great guy, uh, and the reason Greg was great when when I, I got into a fight in sixth grade, and I used to get picked on a lot, and I came home and it hit me in the eye, and my eye was messed up. And he just happened to be over at my grandmother's house. I don't know what the hell he was doing there, but he just happened to be there. Greg, <laughs> he Greg from would crazy just, camp. Greg would just show up at your place. Crazy, okay? came, he came from crazy camp. He, he was just, and, and he was there, and my eye was there. And I came home, I was, and he said, what happened? And I told him what happened. And my aunt said, Greg, can you show him, you know, what to do? And he said, yeah, hang on a second. I'll be right back. And he went in the back, and, and my aunt Val was like, Greg, mama doesn't have, and my grandma said, like, Greg, mama doesn't have boxing gloves or anything. You just have to show you. No, 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 I'll be right back. Greg came by, he came back with a fork. Greg took the fork. <laughs> he MacGyver or something? Greg took the fork, bent the fork so that the, the handle yeah, was on the inside of my of the palm and the teeth were on the outside. He said, okay, you take, <laughs> it, you, you take <laughs> this to school. Just like <laughs> and my eyes said, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not trying to get him sent to the Audi home, no. no. But that's that that's probably what Damon meant. Is you if you had a problem, if somebody had a problem, no, if you, you could call Greg. Greg yeah. would go and take care. I don't care. give a damn who you are. Your status is white, man. But that's we ain't talking about Bill Cosby, man. I no. go on. That's a whole nother tangent. No. We talking about R. Kelly, right. Survivor and R. Kelly, man. These women out here um, doing whatever they want. He guys, he had a house full of them. They couldn't leave the house. They had the pee in the room. He had a bucket in the room. That tripped me out. They, I, they can't use the bathroom. See, that's why. I, that, that, that's why I, I, I can't even. Just listening to Nothing you like say it. Minutes. Listening to you say it is terrible enough to actually listen to the per. I, I, <laughs> no, I, but they know they had the music and doo doo, and we couldn't even pee in the toilet. We we had to pee in the bucket. That, that, that's what that's they were terrible. saying. Terrible. That was like wow. That is sad. And I kept watching. That's terrible. Well, I, 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 from what I understand, they are looking into him uh, again. Mm. They're looking into him again. So, I mean, you know, I just think this is it's a terrible thing. Uh, he he was a very talented person. I personally would not support uh, anyone I suspect or I believe has done that. And I, I must say I'm not a jury. I'm not a judge. I barely graduated high school, but yes, I do. I do believe. <laughs> uh, talk about you, talk about R. Kelly. You talk about I, your education, I, I and that. I barely I graduated I'm high school. To the end, I'm saying I couldn't I'm, go to college because I didn't I'm, have. I'm saying I may not be qualified to judge, but in my opinion, what I believe is I, I believe the people, the women who have said that that he did. I do. I, I believe him. Wow. Uh, so I can't support him because I think that that he did that. You know. <sighs> And I, he's not a good person. You know what I mean? Not I, to even I be don't believe asshole. he is. He's I, not a good. That that's bad. But if he did like all this shit, like he's does. I'm, I've seen him at Evergreen Plaza back okay. when the first song came. I remember the okay. first song. Give me some of that vine. Remember that shit? Remember that shit? That's him. The public announcement. Vine, vine. Man, I'm like yeah, that's the cut. He from Chicago? <laughs> really? So we in the plaza, man. What is it downstairs? Yeah, Sam Goody. Oh, we had the Sam Goody oh. like eleven in the morning. Go buying a goddamn um, cassette singles and shit. Your parents let you stay out till eleven? Eleven in the morning. Oh, okay, all right, no, okay, that's fine. Oh no, I was like eighteen, nineteen. Shit. I can oh, do what the fuck uh, I want to. Okay. Anyway, we go there, me and the homie shot in there, and my boy was like, man, they go R. Kelly. I'm like, who? 
or he was surrounded by three guys. Like the dude that do the Vine song, he like, yeah, that's him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so I ain't about to be no groupie. Right. So I was like, hey, if he crosses, I'm like, I'm say, what's up? I'm a fan of that Vibe song, dog. Right. Go ahead. You know what I mean? But no, he didn't cross us. Some little kid seen him. He see, They were with two kids with their mom. Okay. They walked over to him. Hey, how you doing? It was only us in the store. Right. It's 11 in the morning. 11 in the morning. Nobody's there yet. He, he, they, they tapped in the bodyguard. Like, push the kid back. Like, the kid like six. Are you serious? I'm What's like, this guy. Fuck this guy. What's the kid going to do? Fuck this <laughs> guy, man. For real? <laughs> <laughs> you can't give kids all the grab. You couldn't buy him a sink or nothing. He's Fuck, a- man. He's a child. It's a six-year-old that recognizes you. <laughs> and then I was like, man, fuck this guy. Then he came out with tri- 12 play. I was like, oh, I got to. <laughs> this guy's dope right here. He's shot town. Shit. You got to support the shot town. <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> no kids. He made good music over here. Shouldn't have got that close. This Chicago Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> this Chicago Stevie Wonder in this bitch. <laughs> We love that guy, uh, but no, R. Kelly. Yeah, and he, he turned into this. Yeah, he, yeah, he's um, yeah, Chocolate Factory was dope. Man, why, why I'm still promoting this guy? I don't know. Are you, what are you doing? Um, I'm a friend. What are you uh, doing right T. now? And, uh, they were dope, but man, you <laughs> you fucking it up, man. I'm gonna have to erase you from my album music, man. Nah, he. I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, uh, it's, it's, I'm not one. Best of both worlds, though. No. no. <laughs> Stop it. Best of both no. worlds. No. He should have seen something wrong with a little bummer. He should have seen something wrong with it. <laughs> not good, man. I get Stop it. Stop fucking Horrible. the kids, I Horrible. I, I just, I can't. And I, what I really don't understand is that our uh, criminal justice system here in uh, in Cook County Letting him off the hook. I mean, you got to, you got to get. Well, that he's guy. in with the cops. The only thing they said he was in with the cops, so that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. He married Leah and, and Harvey, and they they changed the birth certificate to eighteen years old. Mm. And they still ain't flagging for that shit. So come on, man. That's terrible. Sorry, end on that. Anyway, horrible, horrible thing. I'm not gonna go back to the fun part of R. Kelly because no. you wind up bringing it back to the bad shit. Um, in conclusion, yes. <laughs> what do we end this at? Yes. What do we end this at? Oh, my my friend Clara said they got married in uh, married her in in Rosemont. I saw the special. You know, Clara oh. saw the special. I don't know. It had uh, Harvey at the top, the spe- huh? It had Harvey at the top. Yeah, Harvey. Oh, yeah. okay. They, had maybe have, boys. they probably got married, married later, twice. Married two and did another similar, My God, Jesus. This guy. He made a mistake twice. Dude, no, not really. That's but not, Daniel Malia had that's not all, a mistake. all her boyfriends were older than her later. You know what I mean? Right, but you know, that, that's something that people say a lot when things like this happen. But I, I still say this. You, you're grown. That's a child. And that's really, to me, that's where the conversation ends. There is no debate about whether or not she was, quote unquote, more mature or whether or not she, quote unquote, uh, had a type of uh, uh, wanted to be with. Oh, it doesn't matter. We don't let children make other decisions. We don't say, well, she looks mature, so she can have a six pack. Go ahead. Don't card her. We don't, you know, we we don't make exceptions for anything else. Uh, we really shouldn't make exceptions for something as serious as, as sexual contact. And of course, no one's calling me. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we definitely want to make sure uh, that we we talk to and, and speak to the fact that the people out there who were in the special who are victims. Uh, you know, we definitely uh, believe victims and, uh, you know, while we're, we're not attorneys and there's been no uh, adjudication again, there was originally and he was acquitted. But uh, like I said before, we're on the side of the of the victims of people who are saying that they did yeah, that's, that um, it did happen. We do believe that. Um, and, but he is, you know, technically, legally innocent until proven guilty. Proven that guilt. is one hundred percent. Best that's way the to truth. say that. That's the truth. Best way to say it. Right. But <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> I don't call nobody guilty. I ain't call no. nobody stupid. No. But be careful, people. You guys out there falling for the BS, man. Just be careful. We out in this world. You got to pay attention to stuff, man. Little stuff like that. Don't be fascinated by anybody. They got money. You can make money. Right. Do whatever you got to do. Don't be trying to take, be it's, taken care of because that can shoot you in the ass. Especially man. parents. Especially parents. You got to, I mean, they're, they're a professor. You can, you can contact us. We know. 
Somebody's just telling you something. Contact, contact. Yeah, just somebody. hit me on go, the DM. Go to Second City. Go to Improv Olympic. <laughs> go to go to one of the kind. Don't just listen to somebody because they say they think your child, quote unquote, has it. Uh, but you know they need to spend time alone with them. Don't don't do that. Okay, yeah. Because right. if you in trouble, go to Second City. Uh, <laughs> Why'd you say that shit? I, I, I said for an opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? The, they're not the, if they're you not need the help, Justice go to, League. Go to an improv class. Oh, no, no. And you're a stand up comic? Go no, to the comedy club. No, go to no, open no, mic and no. tell them. No, they are not the A team. They cannot help you like that. They can tell you the fact from fiction, but they cannot actually help you with a legal situation. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> In conclusion, <laughs> R. Kelly, you fucked up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Say that shit. Um, Stop you're innocent it. to proven guilty, bro. Yes. I don't. That, that's all you can say. But right. hey, man, yeah, you select. Don't don't do the women like that, man. Don't right. do little girls like that, dude. Not somebody's daughters, and you got kids too, bro. So you want somebody to do your kids like that? Stay if home. That's watch, the truth. Watch TV. Stay home. You know what I mean? Like, you write some music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we like it when you. I will that. say, no, nah, that's, that's, that's a little bro. Don't, don't. <laughs> uh, read the book or something. But oh, you can't read. It's okay. No, but that's messed up, dog. You can't read. Okay. Ah. That's probably why he like little kids. No, stop. No. stop. <laughs> Leave no. him alone. Leave him alone. Right. Love R. Kelly. But don't. But whatever. Good luck, man. Good luck. <laughs> and we are here for the victims. Yes. Exactly. And All this right. has been growing up. Growing shot. up shot. <laughs> I don't know how to end this, but we ended it like that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this has been growing up shot. On comedian Ronnie Ray. Check me out. www.ronnieraycomedian.com. Christian, tell them what yet. I'm Christian Leslie, K H R I S T I A N, Leslie, L E S L I E. Just type that into being Google or really any search engine. I have the entire first page to myself. That's- okay. Well, <laughs> we need an outline. We're going to find one. Yeah. You can be born anywhere, but if you ain't from Chicago, you ain't born at all. That's stupid to say. <laughs> no, wait, no. That's dumb. You, you, can be That's born, dumb. you can be born anywhere, but if you're not from, if you're not, Born in Chicago, then you didn't grow up shy. Oh, this motherfucker right here. Yeah. Because yeah! I, I, if I didn't say that shit to fuck it up, you wouldn't <laughs> have this shit to make it right. That's improv. So, hey, <laughs> go out there and fuck up <laughs> so you can get it right. That's improv. There are no mistakes, <laughs> only opportunities. We out here. Just say it again. Right. Say, hey, we, out, we out with this. Say it again. If you didn't grow up, if you weren't born in Chicago, then you didn't grow up shy. Say it again. If you weren't born in Chicago, born in Chicago, then you didn't grow up shy. Then you didn't grow up shy. We out.